Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Our colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 7 of my Subnautica Season 5 Let's Play series. We're going to pick up this Cyclops Energy Efficiency module right here. And now, we get the fun task of going underwater and repairing a ridiculous amount of these holes that are in these tanks. That is the first thing we're going to start to do is get rid of some of these holes. I don't like how it has to say further breaches detected when it says there's nine remaining anyway. It's like, clearly, I know there's more. If I couldn't sum it up from the text, I must be pretty stupid. I just gotta watch out for the little blood-sucking leeches. I can't remember their names, but I gotta watch out for them. It's easier to see where the holes are because they, they spit out, like, Radiation. Radiated fluid. Um, it's easier to see where they are. So, like, you can see one there's up here. Because you can see it from around the side of it. There's another one around the other side of this tank as well. Down here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, that's done. Whoa, nearly got bitten. Ah, oh, asshole! Fuck! Shit! Get it off! Just right click to get him off. Prick. Alright, so... They're over here now. Here we go. That's fun, I love getting... I think they're called biters, or something. From memory. I could be incorrect in that, but I believe that's what they are. And normally, at least once, every time you come down here, that happens. Like, minimum, it seems. I think every time I've come here, I've just got bitten once. There we go. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Fantastic. Okay, so we need the laser cutter for this next bit. If I could get my HUD back, that'd be great. Thank you, because now I'll take a, a med kit. All right, we haven't gone this way yet either. So we're going to do that now. What happened to the game sound? What happened to the game sound, though? Excuse me? Last of all, you man in here. There's no game sound. Um. Okay. Oh, there we go. Weird. All right. So here is the Seamoth pressure compensator, which is one of the things we wanted to get. Seamoth fragment. Seamoth fragment. Fragments in here. Is there anything else? Is there a PDA or something? I can't remember. Doesn't look like there is. Okay. Let's just move on down the hallway then. There are more of those biters down this end of the hallway as well usually, so just be careful. There's one to my left, you see him? Just gonna... watch Look at them, how disgusting they are. Alright, yeah. So they he normally just chills down here waiting for you to walk down here. He's a pretty cool guy. Let's get this door cut open. Any day now. Holy crap. Sometimes I wish that was a bit shorter. I don't know. Alright, let's just fly through this quickly. There's of course a PDA, a first aid kit. There's batteries and stuff in here usually. There's another PDA. There's a battery, bottle of water. Oh, oh no, don't get stuck. No, that would not be good. There's another battery. I knew there was more. Is that it? I think that is it. For this room anyway. Let's continue onwards. Alright, so we're going to need the fire extinguisher again. Oh shit, it's only got 3% in it. Fuck, that's not good. 
I guess we really don't need that. Hey, I put it out. Alright. Get this repaired to get inside this door. And just gotta be careful of the fire so I don't get bloody hurt. Alright, prawn suit room. So. Um, that is empty, essentially. I don't know whether there's any... I, I think I've gone past some fire extinguisher, some fire extinguishers on walls and stuff. So I might want to actually see if I can find one. I think I remember where one is, and that's back in the room where we repaired the, the radiation tanks. There it is. Uh, we'll have to pick that up because the only way we can really get the things we need out of the prawn suit room is to be able to put out the flames in the prawn suit room. Okay, so let's just head through. Wow, that was slick. Oh, oh world's best sea moth or sea glide pers player person thing ever. I don't know. Yeah, let's just put out the fire on this. <laughs> Just enough. Take that away and put that down there. Alright, there we go. So I think, believe you got to put the fire out to be able to pick it up. Okay, so there's also a piece for the Seamoth over here. There's a storage module for the Seamoth. On the ground. Alright, there's another one. And your last one's going to be one of the two that are hanging up here. So we'll get this one. Fantastic. Need a blueprint acquired. Awesome. Okay. So, under here. Uh, if we have a look around, I believe it's over here. You'll see on the ground a flashlight, so you can get that as well. And you've got a flashlight. And then if you head through these bars here, and you pop up here, you can go this way and into this room. But you want to go down first. Right, let's listen to this data terminal. I'm going to turn up the game sound for this, just so you guys and girls can hear it properly. Integrate new PDA data. Or not. Normally this talks. Excuse me. Alright game, fuck you then. You know, it could at least do what the game's supposed to do and that's talk. Generally this guy talks to you, but I guess not. What an asshole. Gonna, of course we've got another laser door. Um, there we go. Okay, let's just get into this one. Yeah, that, that data terminal normally always talks about the Aurora and sending help and ship um, schematics for like a rocket or whatever. So it's very strange that that didn't talk that time. Unless they changed it between the captain's room and this on which one talks. Alright, now we need the lab access code, 6483. Just put that in. I hate typing on that, because it moves. Okay, anything in here we want to actually take? I don't really think there's anything in here that's worthwhile taking, but... We got the repulsion cannon unlocked for that. Bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Woo! Near blueprint acquired. Okay, and up here, if you get rid of the fire that's over here, you can get up and in, or up and out of the Aurora through that door as well. There's another way you can go. Let's head back out here. I'm going to head to the captain's room. That's all there, there is over that side of the map for you to really explore anyway. So we're going to go out this door. And back out through here. If I can get over everything. Okay, yeah, so... 
They might have moved it to the terminal that's inside the captain's room, and I'm not sure whether the captain's quarters actually has a code for it yet or not. Um, I don't believe it does, but I could be incorrect in that as well. But I don't, I don't think it does yet. I haven't heard anything about it having one, so... Sometimes this fire doesn't... This fire extinguisher doesn't put out the fires properly, really. It just kind of... You have to get in the right spot to get it out. There's so many times I thought a fire was out and I stood on it and I bloody got hurt. Alright, abandoned PDA. Some water, which is good. Another fire extinguisher. Which I can't remember whether we'll need or not. Single wall shelf. Woo! Best blueprint in the game, fellas. The vending machine is actually one of the coolest things in the game. Look at that. For some reason, it doesn't work unless you build it. I kind of wish it worked inside the Aurora. Alright, so we're going to start running out of water, like, out of room soon. So we want to just drink some of this, this water that we pick up. Just mainly the filtered ones, because they give you the least amount. Oh, it is nice not to have to make water for a little while. And also, you want to get the nutrient blocks that you see lying around, like these ones. It's an easy 75 food out of the nutrient blocks. It's totally worth picking them up. Okay, so we're going to go into the rooms first. Just going to look around. Scan some beds. You know, the usual. Okay. Uh, my inventory is full, hence why I said about the filtered water, and we'll eat one of those as well. We can take that. I think it fills up a lot of our slots though, so that's the only thing about it. We've also got a comms message that we can listen to. Ow. Of course I would get hurt. Don't worry about the storage bags, unless you want them for like, accessorising your house. They're really not important at all. Honestly. Okay, so here's another room that's going to have a code. All right, 1869, door unlocked. We've got PDA and we got another bed to scan, along with a hat and a different wall shelf, I believe, is the other things we can get. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the captain's... Captain's quarters has a new... um. Or a code for it yet. Alright, so we're just gonna... Put a new battery, like a... F if I can get my scroll wheel to work, we will. Alright, sick. Yep, real good. Just gonna drop a battery then. Awesome. Fucking pain in the ass. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't seem like this has a code yet. I've tried codes in the past before. Like, just different ones, but... I don't think there's any code in here. 1869, that's not it. 1806, I'm going to try. I don't know. Oh, you can't do it. Don't worry, there's no zeros. Alright, so. We're just going to push F3, then push this. And that is how you unlock the door. Okay, so that one didn't read anything either. Again, it's very strange. Honestly. I'm not sure why, though. Okay, so like, the filtered water's the least important things out of everything we have. Alright, so these doors are now unlocked. There's nothing in this room to, to see. And that also means it unlocks the doors that are down here, like this one and this one. But there's nothing behind them, as you can see, anyway. But yeah, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Subnautica in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, boys.